Hi class, this video hopefully will take less than 10 minutes. We are going to be doing muscles that move the forearm. And we're talking about either moving the, the, the radius or the ulna. Those are the forearm bones. So these are the anterior muscles. So this is the anterior part of your arm. So we're going to start up here. We're going to start with the biceps brachii. It's called biceps because it has two origins, two different heads. This is the short head. This is the long head. I'll isolate it so you can get a better look at it. All I really care about is that you understand that its origin is up here. One of the heads is going to be originating on the coracoid process of the scapula. The other one is going to be originating just above the glenoid fossa of the scapula. So it is going to be crossing the shoulder joint and then it is inserting down here on the radius, on the radial tuberosity. So it's going to be having action at both joints. It's crossing the shoulder joint, so it will have action at the shoulder joint, and it has action at the elbow joint. At the shoulder joint, that is going to give you shoulder flexion. This is an anterior muscle. Shoulder flexion, flexion is in the anterior plane. And it will also be a bender of the elbow joint. This will give you I to O. It's going to be an elbow flexor. So let's just have a look at it doing shoulder flexion. And this will just be a kind of a recap for you. So the muscles that you need to know that are doing shoulder flexion are going to be the biceps brachii, not very strong, but it's also going to be pectoralis major and the anterior portion of the deltoid. So those three muscles should be on your grouping list. Biceps brachii, pectoralis major, and the anterior portion of the deltoid are going to be giving you shoulder flexion. Now the next muscle on your list is the brachialis. Now the brachialis is just deep to the biceps brachii. So there you can see him peeking out. He's an anterior muscle. So let's isolate him out. So what do you need to know about the brachialis? Its origin is on the anterior surface of the humerus and its insertion is down in the ulna. Here's the ulna by the coronoid process of the ulna. You can see that, but basically it's only crossing the elbow joint, so it's only going to have action at that elbow joint. I to O, it's going to be a bender of the elbow. That is elbow flexion. So that is brachialis. And the last muscle on your anterior surface of the, the arm here is going to be brachioradialis. That name, brachio, tells you it's starting on the upper arm, on the brachium, and it's going to be inserting on the radius. So let's isolate that guy. The brachioradialis. So its origin is on the distal lateral part of the humerus and its insertion is on the styloid process of the radius. So this is the big lateral forearm muscle on your anterior forearm muscle, brachioradialis. So we have the biceps brachii, we have the brachialis, 
and the brachioradialis. Your three muscles, they are all crossing the shoulder joint. There are anterior muscles, and their action collectively would be, do, would be elbow flexion. Elbow flexion. Biceps brachii, brachioradialis, and brachialis brachialis, those are all your elbow flexors, those three muscles. Easy wheezy. Anterior muscles, right? The three B's, the three benders of the elbow. Biceps brachii, brachialis, and brachioradialis. We would say brachioradialis, brachialis, and biceps brachii are all what? They're synergists to each other for elbow flexion. Now we're going to go on the back side. So now we're going to look at this posterior muscle back here. This is the triceps brachii. Same thing, the biceps has three. Um, the biceps has two origins, the triceps has three. So let's isolate the triceps. So here we are. This is the back. Here's the spine of the scapula. So what you guys need to know is one of the heads is going to be originating on the scapula just below the glenoid fossa. The other two heads are going to be originating on the humerus. So technically this muscle also crosses the shoulder joint. It will have action at the shoulder joint. Its insertion is down on the olecranon, if you can see it down here, on the olecranon of the ulna. So it's crossing the elbow joint. Its main action will be at the elbow joint. The main action of the triceps is going to be elbow joint extension. It does cross the shoulder joint and it will have weak shoulder joint extension, but its main action will be elbow joint extension. So let's do a recap of, of shoulder joint extension. On your list, you have the posterior portion of the deltoid. You have your latissimus dorsi. You have the little brother of latissimus dorsi, which is teres major. And now you have the triceps brachii. Those muscles, those four muscles, are going to give you shoulder extension, shoulder, that's shoulder flexion. Those four muscles give you shoulder extension. But the main action of triceps, triceps brachii, is going to be sh elbow joint extension. This is a posterior muscle. The muscles on the anterior surface here, the biceps brachii, brachialis, and brachioradialis, those are your elbow flexors. Triceps, these are your triceps brachii. This is your elbow extensor. So we would say the triceps brachii is an antagonist to the brachioradialis, the brachialis, and biceps brachii. One is doing elbow extension. The other three are doing elbow flexion. So we're done with the four muscles that move the forearm.